Okay, so in this video, we'll be discussing about derivative of transform. No? So we are done with the first shift theorem in which we, are, we managed to find the, the Laplace transform of uh, functions which includes e to the negative a, e, uh, which includes exponential function which is a, e to the negative a t. No? So now we will be trying to get the Laplace transform of a function containing uh, t to the n. No? So that is we are going to use the theorem of the derivative of transform. Okay. So the theorem states if f of t is a function having a Laplace transform f of s, so that will be equal to Laplace transform f of t. So the, the domain of our um, s is a real number. Then the function the, then the functions t of n, f of t, where n is equals to 1, 2, 3, so on and so forth, also have the Laplace transform given by Laplace transform of t to the n times f of t is equals to negative 1 raised to the power of n. Then the derivative, no? the derivative of f of s. So the, the, der the derivative of f of s, our f of s is the Laplace transform of our f of t. No? So the the order of the derivative will depend on the exponent of our t of n, no? and the domain, and with the condition that the domain of our s is a real number. Okay, so the very first thing to do in getting the Laplace transform of this one is first you need to find your n, which is this one, no? and you need also to find the f of t because you will get the Laplace transform of your f of t, which is f of s. Then after this one, you will get the derivative of your f of s, no? And the derivative will, and the order derivative will depend on your n. So that is how this theorem works, no? So in order to appreciate this one, we will have a example, no? So we have uh, the Laplace transform of t sine 3t, okay? So solution. So first, we need to find our n. No? So our t here is uh, raised to the power of 1. So our n will be equal to 1. Then our f of t is sine 3t. No? The, the f of s that of that one is 3 over s squared plus 9. So that will be a uh, key over s squared plus t squared. So that's why we will have uh, 3s squared plus 9. No? So, because our n is equal to 1, so we we'll just get the first derivative of our f of s. So this is capital letter, no? Because we are getting the Laplace transform. Okay, so the Laplace transform of t sine 3t, okay, this will be equal to the negative 1 n, so uh, d n f of s all over d Sn, no? wherein if we are going to substitute that one, so we have negative 1 raised to the power of 1. Then we need to get the first derivative, no? dn f of s over dsn. So the first derivative of our f of s, no? so we just have that one here, no? f of s, so the first derivative of what, that, that will be equal to the first derivative of 3 over s squared plus 9 all over ds no? okay so the first derivative of this one this will be negative uh, 3 2s over s squared plus 9 squared okay that is the first derivative so that is the derivative of a constant no? the, uh, the derivative of a, co a quotient where in your numerator or the numerator is a constant. Now that will be um, C uh, du over u squared. No? So just review your differential calculus. So negative 1 raised to the power of 1. Then you just substitute this one. Negative 3, 2s. So that will be negative 6s all over s squared plus 9. No? 9 squared no? or simplifying further so negative 1 is the power of 1 that will be negative 1 times negative here that will be positive so you have 6s over s squared plus 9 squared no? so 
no need for you to expand this one no? because we, we have a much simpler answer so this will be our answer for that uh, problem no 6 s s squared plus 9 okay another example we have the Laplace transform of t squared e to the power of t okay solution so our n here the, the exponent of our t is 2 so our f of t is equal to e t then the Laplace transform of that of our e to the t is equal to 1 over s minus 1 no? then because this is 2 so we need to find the uh, we need to get the the derivative of the one the second order derivative okay so we just write here first the expression no? t squared e to the t is equal to negative 1 squared d 2 f of s over d s squared so we need to find this one second derivative no so the first derivative we will write this one in another color so that it must be more clear no that is that we are getting the derivative of f of s no so our f of s is equal to 1 over s minus 1 so the first derivative of that one so that will be equal to 1 minus no? that is negative and negative c du over u squared no? so negative 1 then that this will be 1 all over because the derivative of s is 1 no? then s minus 1 squared okay so this will be equal to negative 1 over s minus 1 squared okay so this will be our first derivative so our second derivative of our f of s ds is this will now be equal to positive no because we have here uh, that would be negative uh, negative the derivative of s squared minus 2 no? so that will be 1 times this is the derivative of s, uh, s minus 1 squared so that will be 2 s minus 1 then we have also the derivative of s which is 1 so if you just omit that one no? all over s minus 1 raised to the power of 4 okay. so we we'll now have here this one positive 1 so this will be 2 s minus 2 no? 2s minus 2 all over s minus 4 uh, s minus 1 raised to the power of 4 okay so factoring out our 2 so we have 2s minus 1 all over s minus 1 raised to the power of 4 so we can cancel out here this will be 3 so the second derivative will just be equal to 2 over s minus 1 raised to the power of 3 so we just substitute this one here so going back to the white color so we will have negative 1 squared that will be 1 times 2 over s minus 1 raised to the power of 3 or this will just be equal to 2 over s minus 1 raised to the power of 3. And this is now the Laplace transform of t squared e to the power of t. Okay, next. Okay, so we have t squared sine 3t. Okay, so sine 3t. Solution. So our n is equal to 2. Then our f of t is sine 3t. So this will become our f of s is equal to 3. So that will be k over s squared plus k squared. So this will be 3 s squared plus 9. Huh? Okay. So from this one, so we will have our expression here of the Laplace transform. t squared sine 3t is equal to negative 1 our n is squared our n is 2 so we will also have the second derivative no f of s over d s squared okay 
so our f of s so our f of s is equal to 3 over s squared plus 9 so our first derivative no so that was f prime of s is just equal to negative 3 then the derivative of this one is 2s all over s squared plus 9 squared so we will have negative 6s over s squared plus 9 squared then the second derivative f prime so we'll have negative uh, negative negative then negative no? the, the, this negative before this one then the negative inside is for the Laplace transform no? so this will be um, okay so that will be negative no? so let's just see here of course Okay, so we could not apply the uh, the constant of quotient to no? so because this is not a constant here. So this will be positive, no? So we have uh, the derivative of u over v, no? So the derivative of u over v, so that will be equal to uh, u dv minus v du over uh, the square, no? So we just have this one here as um, 6, no? 6 times our, this is the derivative of our uh, numerator here s squared plus 9 squared minus so the minus uh, 6s no? so this negative sign here will not represent this one because we have just um, taken out no? this, this negative from the expression okay so we have s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 2 then the derivative of s squared is 2s then the exponent will be equal to 2. So this will just be equal to 1. No? So this just will be equal to 1. Okay. Then all over s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 4. So we'll have negative. So we could factor out our s squared plus 9 here. So we have s squared plus 9. Then we will have here 6s squared plus 9 minus, this will be, this will be a uh, factor out, so this will be 1. Then 6, 6s times 2s times 2, that will be 24s squared all over s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 4. So cancelling out here, this will be 3, this will be just equal to 1. So we will have 6s squared, so we have still the negative outside, 6s squared plus 54 minus 24s squared all over s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 3. Okay, then just simplify the front part here, maybe on this next page. So that will be equal to 6s squared minus 24, that will be 18. So we have here negative 18s squared plus, that will be plus 54, no? Plus 54 all over s squared plus 9 cubed. Okay, so let's just see. So 6s minus 24, so that is, this is will be this will become 18. You know? So we have negative, so negative times negative that will be 18 s squared. So this will be positive minus 54 all over s squared plus 9 cube. Okay. Then our Laplace transform now, you no? Know? So because we have now here the the second derivative of our uh, f of s no this will just be equal to put that one in y no? okay. so this will now become one no? one squared positive one this will be times e10 s squared minus 54 over s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 3 or 
So 1 times this whole expression here, you just become 18 is squared minus 54 all over s squared plus 9 raised to the power of 3. And this will now be your answer. Okay? So I believe that will be the last example for this discussion. I hope you understand something. And as always, enjoy learning.